Welcome to Eating What Is Given, the channel dedicated to searching every corner of Korea to find the best food experiences you can find. Please subscribe to learn along with us as we search for a deeper understanding of how food and culture can connect us with people. At 6 a.m. in Daechanpo, as the sun is just beginning to rise, the first fish auction in Gangwondo takes place. The fishing boats will take their catch from the north to the south, where finally, in Sokcho, the auction includes great fishing boats that use nets to catch their fish. But up here it's just small boats selling their fresh catch, which they got just hours before, out at sea. But sometimes things don't work out. The last few days have brought steady high winds and choppy seas, and my local contact tells me boats haven't been out in the past three days. I woke up super early this morning. It's about 7 a.m. right now. I tried to go to the Daechin fish auction. However, last night it was so windy. I think that none of the fishing boats went out to sea. Usually you can see all the fishing boats coming in but this morning there were no fishing boats coming in. But if you guys remember, last year I went to this incredible little restaurant called Budu Shikdang. And this place is famous for selling really special Gangwondo fish uh, that's available only in the winter time. It's called Dochi Aotang. Dochi is like this really ugly little sucker fish. In the winter time, its belly fills with these huge egg sacs. And the eggs are like this beautiful pearly white egg and this place does dochi aotang with amazing like i think they're using mugunji i don't know it's some kind of special kimchi stew actually my mouth's watering right now just uh, thinking about it this is one of my favorite soups not only in korea one of my favorite soups in the world this place is budu shikta every time i visit the owners recognize me they ask how my life is going as they fire up their stoves I feel a little bit transported, like I'm back at a Midwest diner I used to regular at 6 a.m. It's warm, inviting, in stark contrast to the freezing wind just outside the door. This. <laughs> 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 This is breakfast for sure. This is like the breakfast of champions. All right, I'm gonna try just the soup. Man, it's seriously like, ooh, it's got that nice spice. It's like aotang, but kimchi jjigae mix. The eggs are so soft. It's hard to describe, but usually the fish eggs are like uh, really dry. But these eggs are bouncy and meaty. It's amazing. The eggs just stick to the rice and the soup. Oh my god, this is so good. It's just like I remember. All right, I'm gonna try a little bit of the dochi meat. Now. If I'm being honest, ooh, they've got, oh, this is such a good, they got the huge, like, liver in there. I can't wait to try that. I don't remember that last time, but, so, honestly, probably the, the least appealing part of the soup is the dochi meat. I'm not saying it's bad, but the eggs are the highlight. But you can see the meat is, like, blubbery and really fatty. And the first time I had this, I had no idea what it was. Like, mm. and the interesting thing about it, about this meat, is the taste is not like a fish taste. It almost tastes like a pork. The actual taste is like a pork or a chicken. But then the texture, the texture is very different, very strange. It's like you, I would imagine what like whale blubber would feel like. And the bones are still inside, but because it's pregnant, the bones are so soft that they melt. It's not even crunchy. I can't believe how 
It just doesn't taste like saltwater fish. Actually, this might not be the liver. This, guys, this might be the sperm of the dochi. Okay? Maybe I'll ask the owner. Because in Atang, usually you get the male and female. Oh my god, it's like pate. It's like pate. Oh, wow. You could put that on toast. You could spread that. Sajunim. Yeah, So yeah, this is the namja, the sperm sack. Dude, I know that some people watching this might think it sounds gross, but you guys have to try it, like, that <laughs> tastes so good. Last time, last time they didn't have that in there. And I don't even want to eat this soup because it's so beautiful. Like, the kimchi swirling in there, it's so red. <sighs> guys, I can't stress this enough. I really, really love this restaurant. I'm sorry for coming back again. I'm gonna come here every year. Mm, mm, mm. This is awesome. The sauce that she puts on it is amazing. Mm. Oniony. So good. They got imyeon soup. This is banchan, guys. This is even part of the meal. Like, mm, dried, half dried imyeon soup. You see this hanging up everywhere around town these days because it's in season. And they dry it to preserve it. Also gives it a stronger, like, flavor. Mmm. It's such such a good texture, such a good flavor. This is amazing. I kind of can't believe this meal. I think this is the, the real treasure is this fish. During mating season, this fish is it's really good. You know what it tastes like to me? This tastes like jokba. The texture. Really soft jokba. Like, like uh, gelatin. Mm. So good. You guys don't know. Altang, Altang just means egg soup, like fish eggs. But usually Altang has some like minari and uh, a really interesting sauce, a really interesting taste, broth. But this Dochi Altang is very unique because it's made with kimchi and it's almost like a kimchi jjigae. So it's a little bit sour. Sour, warm, kimchi, spicy kimchi taste. Mm. I've never had altang like this. And like I said, it's just the eggs are so unique for this dish. Achim chiksa mokko shippoyo. Yeah. Yeah, and eat eat matchi no mo matchi soyo. Yeah. Dochi atang. Yeah. Kun sam ni da. Hangoko gongbu hea do yo. Yeah. Really amazing. Like, I know I'm a I'm a foreigner here, which means I stand out and probably like around here they don't see a lot of foreigners here, maybe, but. 
Um, I think it's really amazing that Courtney and I came here together and both of them asked me like, where's Courtney and you're alone today, like that. So, I, it's just really amazing that they remember like that. The Sajung name here is so kind. Uh, That like the namja is so creamy. Oh, so good. I love that Korean food is so deep. Even even though this country is very small and compact, even region by region, it's completely different food. I think you can only get this in Gangwondo. I don't know if I've ever seen it in Seoul or anywhere else. I love how food can change your perspective and culture can just completely change who you are. Let's see what else we can find, I guess. Thanks for watching, guys.